There are a lot of reasons to pause a movie scene, but with Disney films, it's usually to see something an animator accidentally or intentionally added. Maybe it was something they were hoping no one would notice, or an Easter egg. That's the glory of Blu-rays and DVDs. In the theater, you can't pause a scene when you think you saw something. But at your own house, you can stop the film to see if you really just saw that. Here is Screen Rant's list of 10 most paused scenes in popular Disney movies. Wow, <laughs> somebody should find that poor animal and put it out of its misery. The wedding scene in The Little Mermaid. After Ursula steals Ariel's voice, she transforms into Vanessa and hypnotizes Prince Eric into loving her, so they could be married before sunset. On the ship, Vanessa and Eric are listening to their vows from a very happy minister. Fans have long thought that the minister was a little too happy, especially in his pants, but Disney claims it was just his knee. After the debacle of their VHS cover, maybe people are just being overly sensitive, but what do you think? Now, which one of you naughty children been messing with the Shadow Man? Jack Skellington in The Princess and the Frog. The Princess and the Frog takes place in New Orleans, so there's no reason for someone from The Nightmare Before Christmas to be there. Still, when Dr. Facilier summons the Shadow Demons, one of them looks similar to the protagonist in Disney's stop-motion film. He's tall, skinny, and has large oval-shaped eyes, leading many to believe that this is Jack Skellington. Is Jack trying to take over Mardi Gras now? We hope he thought this one through. Twelve. Oh no. There are 13 steps on this ramp. The poster in The Rescuers. Bob Newhart and Ava Gabor starred in Disney's 1977 release of The Rescuers, but on January 8th, 1999, Disney recalled all of their home videos of the same title. At 38 minutes into the film, Bernard and Bianca fly through the sky in a sardine can strapped to the back of Orville, proprietor of Albatross Air Charter Service. In two non-consecutive frames, you can see the poster of a naked woman that was added in post-production, probably not by Disney. Some paused moments are a stretch, but this one is definitely there. Esmeralda, dark hair, works with a goat, remember? Boy, I do. Way to go, lover boy! Esmeralda in The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Esmeralda is the deuterogamist of Disney's 1996 animated feature film The Hunchback of Notre Dame, behind the star Quasimodo. Still, it's her character that gets all the attention. Maybe it's because the stunning Demi Moore voices her, or maybe it's because of her fire dance. In the film, she is clothed during the dance, but if you pause the scene at just the right moment, a few frames show her bare body in the flames. Maybe the animators were watching an early cut of Moore's 1996 film Striptease while animating this scene. You gotta buckle up your lips like this. Mr. Limpet in The Little Mermaid. Another reason viewers pause the scenes in The Little Mermaid is because of cameos from other characters. You probably know about Goofy, Donald, Mickey, and even the green Muppet Kermit the Frog during King Triton's entrance, but did you know about Don Knotts? Don Knotts played Mr. Limpet, a man turned into a fish in Warner Bros. 1964 film The Incredible Mr. Limpet. He shows up at the end of the Under the Sea song, and if you ever go on the ride at California Adventure, he's there too. This is my garage. I know. The Jungle Book in Meet the Robinsons. Disney owns numerous franchises, and their marketing teams know how to cross-promote them. It looks like the animators in Disney's 2007 animated film Meet the Robinsons learned from their marketing co-workers. Behind Goob, you can see a billboard for Disney's animated classic The Jungle Book. We guess it's easier to use a poster from another film, rather than creating new artwork. Or maybe the animators just love Baloo like we do. I could be a good guy if I wanted to, and I could win a medal! Paperman Memo in Wreck-It Ralph. The Oscar-winning animated short Paper Man was shown before the film Wreck-It Ralph while it was in theaters. The memo with a lipstick stain found its way out of one film and into another. When Ralph is at his bad anonymous meeting, you can see the memo in the background on the bulletin. It must have been one really big gust of wind to make it all the way to Litwax Arcade. Still, it's a wonderful way to connect these two films forever. I'm here, baby! No panties in Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Some actors build an entire backstory for the characters they're playing before starting their performance. Maybe animators should learn this technique as well, but instead of a backstory, they should learn to add undergarments. The sultry wife Jessica, who is married to Roger Rabbit, has a mishap in the film Who Framed Roger Rabbit. When she is thrown from a car after hitting a light post, we see she's missing a certain something. You guessed it, she's not wearing any panties. Oops. Well, then why don't you find some place for it to sleep? 
Well, I think of a plan! Mike Wazowski in Frozen. The green round monster in Monsters Inc., Mike Wazowski, makes an appearance in Frozen. No, he's not playing in the snow with Olaf, but rather carved as a wooden statue. In the very large Oaken's trading post, we see numerous wooden statues on his desk, and one of those statues looks awfully familiar to Mike Wazowski. On top of that, there is a Mickey for sale in the shop too, but both of these are pretty quick, so be ready with the pause button. Find your humanity! Haven't any of you ever had a dream? Pinocchio and Pumbaa in Tangled. In the film Tangled, the filmmakers hid numerous easter eggs for their audience. In the bookstore alone, there is a plethora of hidden gems that you have to keep your eye out for, but it is the pub where most people miss two in particular. Both Pinocchio from the beloved 1940 classic and Pumbaa from the 1994 film The Lion King can be seen in the same shot. Most fans only notice one or the other because they appear at the same time, so make sure to pause the film at this scene. There's our list! What do you think of our video? Did we skip over any scenes you paused while watching Disney films? Sound off in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more fun videos. Thanks for watching!